Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your next 24 hours, okay? All right, so you guys just know that you're a diamond, just know that you're special, continue to shine bright like a diamond. Please do not hesitate to give the reads a thumbs up, you guys, as soon as you come in. Um, this is how you support the channel and this is how the channel grows, okay? You know you're a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. All right, so we're gonna get into a prayer because a prayer is always a must, okay? Let's get into that prayer, tap into the energy and see what the angels want you to know for the next 24 hours. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so Aries, for the next 24 hours, just know that this reading is a general reading, not a personal one. With that being said, it may resonate with you and then again, it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. The rules are always reversed, okay? Keep that in mind. Also, you guys, cross watchers are more than welcome to be a part of this read. Um, do the absolute same, which is taking what's yours and leave the rest. Do not close the reads. It's not meant to be forced. If you are interested in having a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I provided for you guys. And that will be in the description of this video to schedule an appointment for a personal reading, okay? All right, let's see. All right, angels, what's the message here, please? Tapping into the energy of Aries and the next 24 hours. What is it that you need me to share with Aries for the next 24 hours, please? Angels, answers to spirit guides. What's the message for Aries the next 24 hours here, please? Past, present, future. Into that, what you didn't see into the back of the deck is the King of Wands. Oh, the King of Wands. For some of you guys here, I feel like you're just a natural born leader here. I feel like you have a vision here. You have a vision to succeed. You have a vision to have the willpower to do what you know is rightfully honored to you. Um, I feel like for some of you, you you know, you're getting ready to do big things, and I feel like big things are coming towards you here. But there's work that needs to be put in. Okay. All right. So. Let's talk about the recent past here. Now, what I see here as far as the recent past is concerned, your next 24 hours is, is giving me the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Tower. You definitely had sour, uh, uh, you definitely had a, a, a tragic situation here. The Tower is here. It really tells me that you had a major arcana in the past where something just kind of wasn't going right. Situation was just twisted. People was playing mind games. Things was going further left and further right, further right and further left. It's like, no matter what you try to do, you just couldn't seem to put the pieces of the puzzles together. And this is because you have a page of cups energy here in the reverse. Now, this person here is um, dealing with immaturity. They're not on your level of giving and receiving, okay? I feel like this person is a taker. Okay, is what I'm hearing. I uh, those I also feel like their energy, you guys, is seriously blocked. All right, whatever this, whoever, however you want to place them right now in your life, this person, their energy is blocked, blocked off from yours. Okay, and this is why you constantly having this art, this harsh season that you're going through. You feel like every single season that you feel like you're going through the same thing. It's major, major arcana. It has to be let go and set free. Now I feel like there's something that might have either happened in the recent past or something that you had maybe manifested to kind of go away, but something came or either left very fast. But however it went, someone still suffered a major arcana here in the recent past, okay? Um, in the present, we do have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. We also have the Ace of Wands here, and we also have the Magician in the reverse. The... The Ace of Wands did show in the upright though, okay? Um, but what I really feel though, um, as far as far as this um present is concerned, okay. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you, you know, you're trying to balance something out here. It could be work, okay, it could be play, it could be whatever, but I feel like it's really attached to family situation here with the Queen of Pentacles. In the reverse, it's all about money. It's all about manifesting one's life. But someone is either very, it's like you're not able to do that. 
But some of you may have family who's kind of helping you to get on your feet or whatever, but you have to be committed. Okay? Hmm. It's really calling for commitment, really. If you're looking for something new, the Ace of, the Ace of Wands here. First, you have to be your own inspiration here, okay? You have to use power to, for something new here with the Ace of Wands. Um, you have to come up with something more of a creative side of you, a, a reflection of some of something that you may need to start new or never tried. But it's all about new beginnings here. And it's all about your potential and what you can bring to a situation. What not only you could bring towards your job or to whatever, you, whatever you're trying to manifest here, but also in love, okay? Now, you can do this because this is a magician here. And regardless, it showed in the reverse or regardless, it showed in the upright, which it did show in the reverse here. You're really attached to a manipulative energy here. And I feel like this manipulative energy is what you're dealing with in the past here. This is the Page of Cups. That person, they're very manipulative. And this is why you're constantly bumping into, bumping into a major kind of with this person. Because see, you're able to see through this person thoroughly. You're seeing through this person thoroughly. But because you're still attached for some reason, you're having failures and setbacks here. But you're able to clear this manipulation and mind games here because at this point you can't plan anything with this person simply because this person, this person is immature. They're not dealing with maturity on your level. That makes sense. You could have all the sex in the world with this person and it feels so damn good. But out of that, you're not manifesting anything. You're not growing. You're not growing in love. You're not growing in a house. You're not growing in a car. You know, you're just not damn growing, okay? All right, so what you didn't see coming, and I need to clarify this, what you didn't see coming, all right? This, again, is your next 24 hours. And then we do have the three of pentacles here. I'll get into that in a moment for you guys. We have the moon in the reverse here, the knight of wands also in the reverse, and the queen of swords. Um, you're just going to have to really tap into your perspective here. You're going to have to be a thinker, a quick one that is, and just know how to organize your life this time around. Angels are saying that they're giving you a second chance, a third chance. But some of you guys are running out of chance because you might have already used up all the resources. Angels are saying that you have to be independent, okay? This is what I feel like you need to know here. This is what's coming. Um situations changing for you but a lack of setbacks and let me explain for some of you you start something and then you don't finish what you started you're not able to complete what you started this is the cycle that has to end this is what i'm seeing here with the world in the reverse a lack of closure it doesn't matter what kind of a closure it is at the end of the day your life is your life and your time is your life okay um this person is just uh, they have a scattered energy and 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 because they have a scattered energy it sets a lot of things in delay um progress um happiness love um whatever you're trying to do it just feels like you're not getting there for some of you working and you're making good money and you're just not getting there it's like, where the hell is my money? You don't even know where your money is going. Because it's just too many frustration here. You're not happy. You're not happy. And if you're not happy, then nothing around you can be manifested the way that you really want it to be. This is what I'm seeing here. Okay? All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles here. Um, The Three of Pentacles in the upright really tells me that... You know, you know, you're trying to be a teamwork here. You're trying to really build something with this person. You're trying to have fulfillment with this person and just trying to do the best that you can as a team. Okay. Let's figure out why this is coming through here because I'm feeling like <clears throat> you might have wanted to learn more or they might have needed to learn more all right what is the next 24 hours tapping into the energy of this three of pentacles here all right what is this three of pentacles and why is here why do i need to clarify this three of pentacles for aries please the next 24 hours at this time angels spirit guides and sisters what is this please what is the three of pentacles all right so what you didn't see is blockages here 
the Ace of Cups in the reverse. It's, it's something is blocked, you guys. All right, there's a lot of blockages here. All right, so we, this is the four, the Three of Pentacles. Ah, oh, man. The Two of Swords and the Moon and the King of Pentacles. This is what's clarifying this Three of Pentacles here. So it is fear for sure, okay? There's definitely fear here. Now, this King of Pentacles energy did come through. It, and, and whenever I get this King of Pentacles, it tells me a lot of things. It really tells me that a person is either stable or this person has money or this person, you know, is all about security and power and discipline and abundance. However, it also could tell me other things, even though a person seems to have their life together. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have their life in order, right? Um, I feel like there's no communication coming through with this King of Pentacles energy because you have this two of swords in the reverse. I'm here in indecision. So this person is not really sure where they're going in love here. There's a lot of confusion coming from this King of Pentacles. See what I'm saying? Even though this person seems to have it together, it doesn't mean that they have their life in order, right? There's something that's been hidden here. It could be a secret or something, something that's connected to an illusion and fear. Maybe this person is afraid to really give their all, we want, afraid to let their guys on or whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever they're feeling like they can't give, but just feel like, you know, you tried, you tried, you might have tried to manifest something here with this person. And you tried and you tried and you tried, but at the end of the day, you ended up putting two of swords in the reverse. Indecision, confusion, and information download is going left. Okay? Um, I really feel like, you know, just a major blockage is here with this uh, Ace of Cups here. There's blockages, you guys. Something is ending. Okay? Something is ending. Something is over here. Something is changing. And what is changing? Is a situation that's connected to this King of Pentacles. It is also connected to this Knight of Cups as well. Because, see, this King of Pentacles is very charming. Okay, it is very charming. That's, that's the energy here. The Knight of Cups are very charming. Um, very good sexual partner. Maybe they know how to give a mean head or whatever. It feels really good. It's, yeah, they, they're good that way. But at the end of the day, there's a major arcana here. Okay, so it's, it's telling me decision time. Well, I hope that's reading did help. This is your next 24, you guys. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Simple by leaving your initials down below. Pray for me as I'm always so praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.